As India struggles to get a hold on the COVID-19 surge in their country, Mainers with family there are desperately trying to help. That includes a Northern Light Health doctor who felt compelled to chip in and ended up, ended up getting more support than she ever expected. Uh, uh, limitations on the oxygen supply, no beds, hospitals posting signs that said we don't have beds. I'm like, how can we be living in this type of a situation? So the COVID-19 crisis in India is personal for Dr. Navreet Marwaha. She works for Northern Light Health. She has family in India and felt she needed to help. So she reached out to Northern Light CEO and supply chain VP. I was completely flabbergasted at the response. She thought they might be able to send a small shipment of medical supplies. Gloves. Instead. Important yeah. nitrile gloves. We can, we can send them because I was, I was floored with the response that the organization committed to. Northern Light Health teamed up with Partners for World Health, a Portland-based nonprofit that collects medical supplies and equipment exactly for situations like what's happening in India. So we have some needles and syringes. Mm -hmm. Great. We have a face shield. They sent N95 masks, goggles, face shields, oxygen concentrators, and bag valve masks, which help people breathe. We said, okay, we have some surplus that we can give away and donate to those in need without affecting the safety of our care teams and the safety of our people. We were able to be much more successful because we partnered with somebody who already had those connections. The supplies will go to Amara Hospital in Andhra Pradesh in Southeast India. The first air freight shipment should get there by mid-June. And I just feel really proud that even though we are so far away and, you know, what we are doing may not be, you know, uh, significant compared to the, uh, uh, the amount of the pandemic that India is seeing, but it is going to help some people. Dr. Marwaha says everyone in her family had COVID-19 and has recovered. Partners for World Health says they're sending the emergency items by air freight in the next week or sooner with another 22,000 pounds of supplies going by sea in the next few months. They're reaching out to Maine Health and Central Maine Healthcare to see if they can help too.